here, there needs to be a button you can press which says I'm about to do focus work for an hour, two hours, three hours. This is a separate topic, but it's uh, essentially related to comments that I got from the original tweet. And it is to say that uh, what I want to talk about is asynchronous work. So fundamentally for develop, I'm going to keep saying for developers. And again, the broader point is if you're in a role where it's your responsibility to do sort of deep work, individual contribution, maker versus manager. If you're on the maker side of the schedule, uh, maker schedule, manager schedule, your responsibility is to coordinate. So you need to be available at all times to the extent that you are a developer, somebody that needs to do focused work, your communication should be fundamentally asynchronous. This is one of the reasons why you're hearing more and more people say they dislike Slack. Slack sort of as great as it is for a lot of things and for feeling sort of the heartbeat of a team, which is neat. It sort of forces synchronous communication because of the nature of the way it's designed. That's something that they're making some efforts to change with the way that notifications can be disabled and they're doing that by default for your non-working hours, but it needs to go further. It needs to there needs to be an easy button you can press, probably not even on Slack, probably on your computer, there needs to be a button you can press, which says I'm about to do focus work for an hour, two hours, three hours. There's no magic number. I'm going with two to three hours. Let's just call it two hours for a simple number. I'm going with two hours just to give a specific number. Some people have said it could be an hour. Okay, some people have said Pomodoro 25 minutes. I don't know if that's possible. Like your ramp up time takes time as a developer, fundamentally. So let's say two hours. There should be a button on your computer where you press that and on your phone and you get no notifications unless they're mission critical. So if you're responsible for site outages, you should get a site outage notification. If you obviously have a family emergency, you get a call on your phone, that should come through. You should not see every phone call because that'll distract you. You should not see every notification. You should not see every email. I think that it's interesting that as more and more people are working remotely, you would sort of think that along with that, they're working asynchronously, but it actually may even be having the opposite effect. That as people are working remotely more, they're more likely to work synchronously. And it is super important to over communicate when you're in a remote role because if you don't do that it feels like you're not there or you're doing something else or how do i know as your boss that you're even working so i think there's a human i think human nature is to over communicate even to a detriment of your actual productivity so i think the most effective thing to do is to say look i'm remote you hired me because you trust me here set expectations clearly here is my workflow i go into do not disturb flow sessions for two hours at a time. I then come up for air. When I come up for air, I'm going to respond to everything. I'm not going to miss anything. I'm not going to let anything drop between the cracks. You got to have a good solid system to make sure that you're responding to anything that anyone expects you to respond to within sort of like, you need like a personal SLA. You need like a personal expectation, a service level agreement of what your response times are as an individual. So that as your boss, I ping you on something. I'm not going to hear back within a minute because that that would disrupt you and ultimately hurt your productivity, which is what I'm paying you for. But I am going to hear back within two hours, three hours. And I know that and I can trust that and I can rely on that system. So we need more asynchronous work fundamentally across the boards. We, we need that. Some people will say, well, it's a personal preference. It's only a personal preference to the extent that you're on the manager end of the spectrum. If you're on the developer end of the spectrum, I disagree that it's a personal preference. I think it's a fundamental fact of psychology that there's a ramp and the way the brain works, that there's a ramp up time, interruptions pulling you out of that with an expensive re-ramp up period. So that's my take on it. I think we should do more asynchronous work. And I'm going to call that for today. That's the stream. I have 12 more topics that I didn't get to, but that's cool. Cause I think, I think there were some really good nuggets in here and, uh, I might do a stream later this afternoon. We shall see if I get real motivated, but that's it. So have a great Wednesday. And I'll